Okay guys, welcome back to another Sega race day. Uh, today we are going to be playing the awesome Le Mans 24. And what's absolutely fantastic about this game is the amount of uh, detail in it. I mean on the surface it looks like a bog standard little arcade racer. You know, from Le Mans, but it's got some real depth to it. It's got a really nice dynamic 24 hour racing mode which basically you know, goes from day to night it's a live race so you can join at any time and the time is always you know depending on the clock cycle of the game it's always like day or night time it's got dynamic weather so it can rain get foggy and you've got like a little kind of a pit team that gives you up to date information of people who have crashed on the course to watch out for them your car wears out tires, so you can have to go and pit and you know change your tires. It's it's a good little sit down proper dr drivers game. This is you know not your standard arcade three lap racer. You you can um, play the endurance mode and really get into it, sit down and really enjoy it. Or in my case, stand up anyway because uh, we've got a little stand up sit up here. So what we're gonna do? We're going to go through the uh, endurance mode. There are a couple of extra courses to do, which are like just normal three laps, standard arcade style, but the endurance game on this is where it's at, really. Nice selection of cars here from Nismo GTR, Ferrari F40, Porsche, but we're going to go with the Mazda. And uh, yeah, we're going to do the endurance race, so you can have a look at actually how cool this game is, so let's do it. Okay, so we're starting at night, so you're going to see the game go through like a 24 hour cycle. It's going to go day and then go night again, so we're going to finish at night time. Three, two, one, go! Let's go! Lights, you can put bright lights on if you need them. It's a bit hard to see at night time. So, unlike most uh, arcade races, you know, there's like a oh no, look out, there's a checkpoint system. So, you go through gates on the track and your time increases, but with this time to increase what you have to do is make sure you're overtaking opponents on the course and if your time ticks out runs out of time then uh, you have to put in another credit so the idea is to play with the least amount of credits you can to finish the endurance race it's got a lovely sense of speed on this game and depending on which car you choose, what's really, really nice is the different engine noises. You get some really rich, beefy engine sounds on this, which is really nice and authentic. The music ain't that good, to be honest. It's just your standard kind of Sega jazz music. It's not techno thumping beats like you get in Daytona. But you can, you can turn the, uh, the music off if you like. And just enjoy those engine sounds. Which again adds a little bit more kind of realism to it, I think. But you can see at the top there, we're three hours into the race. So we're going to get to 24 hopefully. Put some lights on here, it's getting dark. Again. 
we'll get a chance to race against the uh, king car. We get another extra lap and we have to beat like a, a boss car. Which I'm not really sure what the point of it is, but it's uh, something extra anyway. It's starting to rain now, so it's getting a bit slippery. And uh, I'm probably going to be told to go into the pit lane in a minute because I keep going off the course and I'm using up my tyres, so I'm probably going to have to pit lane. Oh, he's, he's set on fire, look, look at that.
cool. So what happens now? I think it'll go into like another extra race after I get my stats. Two continues, 1300 kilometers. 17, ah, D. No good there. All right. We get to race against this guy now, the Porsche. One lap, finish him, um, beat him to the finish line. Let's see if we can do it. Three, two, one, go! Here we go! Oh, not a good start. is Le Mans 24. Alright, let's get some name entry high score in here. Okay, thanks for watching. Join me for tomorrow for more Sega Arcade Racing goodness. I'm not going to tell you what I'm playing, so you're going to have to tune in and find out. So, until then, see you next time. Bye for now. Game over.